Hello, 7th grade science. This is Mr. Topol here coming to you with an at-home quarantine edition of our physical science discussion. I hope you're enjoying what we've looked at so far with Newton's laws of motion. This is some of the most, for me, most fascinating stuff in all of the sciences. And uh, I'm really excited to get to share some of this with you before the end of the school year. Now, normally I like to find higher budget, like well done videos online, but I couldn't find a good video that discussed this concept in a short way. So I wanna talk about static and kinetic friction. As I hope you already read on the slide, static friction is when the objects are not yet moving, but they're kind of locked into each other and it's hard to get the object going. Once that static friction is overcome, the objects will slide past each other with kinetic friction. So if the objects are sliding past each other, that's kinetic. You can actually model this a bit yourself. Your knuckles are bumpy, just like the surfaces that we zoom in on in a microscope. They'll lock into each other and it's really hard to get them to slide past. And then once you do, it's pretty easy to begin. So static friction is strong at the beginning, but once it starts moving, kinetic friction requires less force. So I just wanted to do a quick review with a common misconception here. I grabbed my uh, random roll of hockey tape from the basement because that stands out nicely against this back uh, dark table. So if I'm pushing the roll of tape lightly, I am pushing it, but not enough to get it to move. This is static friction. Once I do get the object to move, it's kinetic friction. The object is sliding, so that's kinetic friction. So again, Think about this, what type of friction is this right now? And what type of friction is this? Hopefully you recognize that this is static friction, being pushed but not enough to move. This is kinetic because it is sliding past. I wanna do one more because this can be confusing for a lot of people. I wanna stand the roll of tape up like this. What type of friction is this? while the tape rolls across the table. And what type of friction is this? A lot of people think that both of those are kinetic friction because kinetic means motion and the object is moving, but that's not actually correct. This rolling across the table, that's static friction. And this is kinetic friction. Now, that can be really hard to see, so I'm gonna take this uh, marker and draw a line on the bottom. We're gonna to start to think of this roll of tape not as one object, but as a bunch of slightly different surfaces. So watch the line on the bottom to see what happens. Here, this line is sliding past the table. So that's kinetic friction because the objects are sliding. But when I roll it, that line is never actually sliding past the table. This line is touching the table and then immediately getting off of it. Since there's no sliding involved, this rolling action, oops, this rolling action is static friction. Cars actually take advantage of this quite a bit with the idea of anti-lock brakes, which you're going to see quite a bit on the next slide. But for that to make sense, you have to remember that if the wheels or the object keeps rolling, that's static friction, which is actually stronger. If the wheels lock up, that's kinetic friction, which is quite a bit weaker. All right, I hope that helped out. Check out the video on the next slide.